Hi, I'm Addie Floyd, and I'm a senior research manager here at Trend Hunter. On a daily basis, I'm working with the world's top brands to help them innovate and find their best ideas. In today's course, we're going to be diving into what the future of retail might look like through the lens of omni-channel, and how important it is for retailers to create a seamless shopping experience. Now, when it comes to retail, there are a few things that we know for sure. For example, in 2018, over 5,000 retailers shut down their brick and mortar stores. But retail is about a lot more than just one singular platform like brick and mortar. And when it comes to terms like the retail apocalypse, well, those have been tossed around a little too lightly. When you consider the emergence of e-commerce, there's been a lot of tension between the online and offline worlds of shopping. Now at Trend Hunter, we have been tracking retail trends since the emergence of our platform, trendhunter.com. And since the beginning, we have tracked a lot of this tension. For example, in 2009, we were looking at insights like Back to Brick, where retailers were pushing consumers off of e-commerce platforms and trying to get them back into physical stores. Now, two years later, we were seeing insights like digital gifting, which takes a look at how retailers were trying to get their consumers back onto e-commerce platforms. However, fast forward to today, we're looking at insights like e-commerce amalgamation, which is taking a more omni-channel approach and combining the online and offline worlds of shopping. Which means that brick and mortar remains fundamental, but e-commerce is now crucial. So if we think about the way that retail used to look in the past, first, you needed to have a product. In order to sell that product, you had to have a physical retail space, which would allow you to then obtain your consumers. But of course, we know this way of thinking is far too outdated. When you consider the emergence of e-commerce competing with brick and mortar, you're left with more of siloed entities or a multi-channel effect. But this way of thinking still won't work. Instead, we need to think about retail through the lens of omni-channel, the creation of seamlessly interchangeable platforms across all entities. And it's working. Brands who use an omni-channel strategy are retaining close to 90% of their customers. And already, close to 75% of shoppers are using multiple platforms on their path to purchase. But what exactly are the avenues of omni-channel? Well, I'm going to be diving into four of our megatrends that correlate to four different modules that I'll be taking you through today. We'll be looking at hybridization, personalization, experience, and artificial intelligence. 